What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about is judo good for takedown defense? Okay, so let me read you guys the question uh, slash comment. <clears throat> Man, and I apologize, this was actually a question that was asked seven months ago, right, on uh, in one of the comment section on my videos. And I completely forgot about it, so sorry about that, guys. Um, let me read it to you. So this was a comment to a video that I made. Uh, it was Judo Black Belt versus BJJ Black Belt who wins. And Stur, uh, S-T-U-R, uh, wrote, I agree with training BJJ and Judo. I have a BJJ background. I want to get good uh, Judo training in so I am good enough standing. How is judo for takedown defense? Will training in judo help with good takedown defense? And of course I told Stuart that uh, I'll make a video for him and I completely forgot. So shout out to Esmael Samhan who reminded me, hey Hong, where is the video man? You know, with a, you know, uh, you know, the, 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 the two eyes and the P that, you know, somebody's just sticking out their tongue anyways. Thank you, Ismael Samhan, for reminding me. Uh, my bad, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, here are my thoughts on it. Yes, yes, of course, judo is gonna help you with takedown defense. And there are a couple of uh, things that I want you to consider, but let's talk about why it would actually help you. Uh, if you train BJJ in the gi, and then you go train judo, and judo is trained in a gi also, and now you go into a match or rando randori or even shiai competition uh, for BJJ and <laughs> you have these skills, you will understand gripping. And if you understand gripping, you will outgrip the BJJ fool who cannot grip. BJJ guys who don't understand judo, who don't do any judo, don't, don't understand how to grip the gi properly. So if you get your grips on them, which you will, uh, if you train long enough and you get good at it, there's nothing they can do to you because they don't understand uh, how to grip, like the strategies behind it, what to do, what not to do, what to look out for, how to set it up, what's a, what's a two-on-one, what's a 50-50, what's a dominant grip. You know, there's all these types of grips that you can, uh, uh, that are very high level stuff. And, and, and judo these days, because there's the no grabbing the leg rules and there's no two-on-one, uh, I mean, you can't grab the same side. There's, you know, anyways, Gripping is such a big part of judo now because of the rule sets. So if you understand gripping and you get really good at gripping in judo, and then you go over to BJJ, no one's gonna take you down. Like no, none of these BJJ guys who don't understand gripping are gonna be able to take you down. Uh, that's one. So definitely that's part of it. The other part is balance and athleticism. It, judo really does help develop that and explosivity too because now you're gonna be used to uh, essentially hopping on one leg. So if you're always on one leg and you can kind of control it, like you don't see it now, but let's say I raise this knee right here and I'm on one leg and I'm always like this, I get really good at balancing myself on one leg. So I'm actually very hard to take down. And from there, I could actually throw stuff. I could actually attack off of that or counter. So there's that component of it too. And uh, even BJJ guys, i uh, sorry, judo guys who high level judo guys who transition into wrestling, they do very well, very, very well. Like, okay, they just have to, um, you know, themselves learn, you know, the double legs, the single legs and blah, 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 all the, all the leg attacks and all that. But once they, they get that, I mean, it doesn't take them long, first of all, to get it. But once they get it, man, like I got guys at my club, holy crap. Like these guys, when they wrestle, like insanity. And I've seen them wrestle like high level wrestlers and they, they, they manhandled them, they manhandled them, you know? And I'm not saying that the high level wrestlers won't eventually catch on to what they're doing, but when they first meet up, holy smokes. The first, you know, uh, couple of times that I've seen, massacre, massacre. Okay, so uh, definitely it's gonna help. Now, there is one little thing that you do have to understand though, is that if you train, the thing with judo is that there's no leg attacks anymore. That's the problem with it. So 
if you do like a BJJ nogi and then you have these judo skills, but now you don't have your grips anymore. You're gonna have to change how you position your arms, underhook, wizard, blah, 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 wrist control, collar tie, all that stuff, right? And then now all of a sudden, like if you didn't, if you don't, didn't learn any kind of, um, um, uh, you're not too adept at leg attacks, you know? And then the BJJ guy in front of you who, you know, uh, practices a lot of wrestling, you're gonna have a hard time. He's gonna be able to take you down, right? So there's that that you have to uh, take into consideration. Now, in an ideal world, you would train judo and wrestling. So it would really round off your, um, your stand-up game. You know, your takedown defense would be amazing compared to a, a normal BJJ player. Like you would be very, very, very hard to take down, especially if you get to a certain level uh, in judo and wrestling, which I believe you should do because if you want to be a complete grappler, in my opinion, I know it's not always possible guys and, and you know, um, but hey, you got to do all of the big um, grappling arts because they all have their strengths and their weaknesses, right? And none of them are complete on their own, So and but they're highly specialized. But if you're able to do judo, wrestling, BJJ, I'm telling you guys, like you're you're a very complete grappler. That's actually what I'm doing currently now, is that I, I'm tra I train in judo, I train in wrestling, and I train in BJJ also. Yep, I started BJJ again, guys, because I'm thinking double black, double black. Oh yeah, legit. So for those of you guys who don't know or are new to the channel, I'm a brown belt in judo, and uh, of course, going for my black, going for a world title, 42 years old. So that's why you guys should join me on my journey. I'm gonna share a lot of things with you and uh, you know, show you how I do things, blah, 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 blah. And also BJJ, I did that for six years, but because I was switching um, from club to club, well, only two clubs, you know, um, I'm still blue. But I'm like, I'm more than a blue, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. I think I'm, I'm, I'm very close to a purple, if not purple, but I would like to get double black. Why not? Like, it'll take the time that it takes because my priority is judo. But yeah, so that, those are the two things. Uh, uh, so I started BJJ again, but wrestling, yeah, I've been doing that for about a year now. And uh, honestly, it's fun as shit. It's so fun, it's so fun. All of this is really fun. So my specialty is grappling, but I love striking. I love, stri I, I'm a martial artist, guys. I just love to fight and I love to practice and to compete and all that. But you know, I can't do everything for now, but as the channel grows and you know, like I'm able to do this full time, well, then yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna compete in pretty much a lot of different martial arts and as much as I possibly can. Of course, the main focus is still to be world champion in judo, but hey, that's gonna come with, uh, uh, that's the main focus, but it doesn't mean that all the other stuff is gonna fall by the wayside. Uh, but okay, so I'm rambling here. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with what I said? If not, then hey, uh, let me know, it's cool. And of course, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharing the video actually helps a lot with the algorithm and helps the channel, helps the channel <laughs> grow. Love you guys. Peace.